Chapter 3 Toad has prevailed through the trials and now awaits Master Chomp. He and his minions will do everything they can to stop Toad from continuing his quest. Toad must be as brave as he can be to beat Master Chomp. Hey all and welcome to part 3 of my Toad's Terrors playthrough. Here I will be taking on chapter 3. Toad's Terrors is a game made within Super Mario Maker 2. This is a horror based game, all the levels have a horror theme to them. So this is Chomp's Welcome. Toad gets lured into evil, you get to know your enemy real quick. So the idea behind this chapter is you take on Master Chomp. There's three levels in this part of the game. So here we go, let's play Chomp's Welcome. I have actually played this level before but this is the updated version. I haven't actually played this yet. Alright, so here we go. This will likely be slightly different to the version I have played. But I should roughly know the level and hopefully I won't die too much. I really like the music. It has a really strange effect to it when you play the level. Right, let's go in the pipe. So now the level is in the darkness and I need to be careful. Right, down we go. Oh, Muncher's coming out of the pipes. Just be careful going up. Beware the grinders. Make sure I don't hit them. There we go. Nice. Run. Okay, let's go. Oh, Fom's chasing me. Okay, there we go. That's safe. And we have King Boo here. Yeah, you're not coming after me. You stay there, King Boo. Stay back. Crikey, there's a lot going on. You've got to be really careful. Right, a checkpoint here. One up mushrooms and a key. More music as well. I love the music to this. This ending is going to be quite tricky though. I think the way to do this is to just jump from here rather than try and jump on the spring. Here we go. Let's do this. Nice. So I'm kind of curious to what's actually in the castle door. I'm going to have another go to see if I can actually jump over the flagpole. So let's try that and see if I can get into the door. Okay, so I don't think it's possible to jump over the flagpole. But I did find something else that's quite interesting. There's a secret area in the pipe if I can get to it. So let's go over to where the secret area is. All you have to do is go in the pipe while you're going up on the elevator. So it's this part here. Right, so the pipe here, just have to push towards the wall and then in we go. So yeah, nice secret area here with a couple of one-up mushrooms and coins. It leads back to here, so maybe a small time saver. I'm not really sure, you might be able to save a few seconds. So let's go ahead and finish the level from here, it shouldn't be too difficult. This final part's probably the hardest part. You just have to wait and be careful. That key is a troll though, as you can't get in the door. Not in any way that I have managed to work out. I'm going to try though, but I'm convinced this is completely impossible as you just, well, do that when you try and jump. I don't think you can make it over with the spring either, so yeah. You will never get to find out what's in that door, but that's still an awesome level. Really enjoyed playing that. So that's Chomp's welcome completed. Let's move on to the next stage. All right, and here we go with the next stage, Toad's Terror's Chomp's Chase. The welcome wasn't pleasant, now it's coming for you. Can you escape it? Well, we will find out if I can escape it. So this is quite a tricky level. You can see the clear rate is relatively low. Let's see how well I get on with the stage. Here we go with Chomp's Chase. So as with the previous stage, it has this really cool music. Creepy weird music. 
It's also dark as well. The first part's not too difficult, just take your time is the best advice I can give. Go carefully and don't try and rush. A bit of precision here, stay between the grinders like so. There we go, there's the checkpoint and a nice one-up mushroom. Now we get on to the chase. Now firstly wait for the burners to go down. And now you just need to avoid everything basically. Right there we go. You can see the big chomp monster is coming for you. Go quickly. Alright so there's the door. Jump over the grinders. Or jump on the grinders like I just did. No don't do that. Right, we'll try again from the checkpoint. This section here is relatively straightforward. The next section is a little bit harder, as you saw. There we go, that's a bit better than my previous attempt. Last time I got caught on the one-way doors, but this time I'm going straight in. Right, so carefully and quickly over the grinders, and then wait for... That's it. Nice. So yeah, it is basically precision. Precision avoiding booze. Oh no, the one-up mushroom is going off, and I nearly got chomped, but I didn't quite. So the final section, maybe? Yeah, this is in the dark. Yeah, jump across on the platform. Stay relatively high so you don't get hit by the chomps. It's kind of difficult as you can't see the chomps, but I think I've done it. There's a vine up here and a hidden pipe. I'm going to go in the pipe. So there's a door in the pipe. So that means there's a hidden key somewhere. I have no idea where that key is. It's probably over the flagpole or something like that. I'm going to finish the level first, then I'm going to try and find the hidden key. So there we go, that's the stage completed. Yeah, you're locked out at the end as well if you don't find the key. So, key finding time. Where could it be? I have no idea. I'm going to have to do a bit of searching. So my thought is that it's somewhere in this section. I'm going to have to do a bit of trial and error here. I think, yeah. I wanted to see what was down there and there's nothing. So don't drop down there. Right, let's be a bit more careful. There's probably a hidden block or something near the top, maybe? Oh, there we go. The key's in the block there. Nice and easy. Right. I just need to not die, and that wasn't too difficult. So what's in the door? There is also a door over the flagpole as well. Oh! This leads to a sort of fake ending, sort of. This is really cool. I've never seen it this section of the level before. So I've never taken the time to find the key, but that's really cool. Nice little bonus room. So what happens if you jump over the flagpole and then put the key in the door at the end? I don't know if you can jump over that without dying. I don't have the key, so I'm going to deliberately die and try this. This could be quite fun. Well... Maybe. It's going to be hard. All about the timing, basically. You need to somehow nip through one of the gaps in the boo ring. It's going to be hard. There we go, there we go, there we go. Look at that. It's quite difficult. Oh, that leads to here. Okay, so that's not a secret or anything. I did want to find out where that door led to, though. Oh, there we go. I can go and beat the stage now. So there we go. 
I've managed to complete the stage and find both of the secret areas. Even though you're probably not supposed to find the second secret area. And that's Chomp's Chase completed. That was a really cool stage. Plenty of different things to do in the stage as well. Let's move on to the next stage. All right, and here we go with the final part of this chapter. Toad's Terror's Chomp's End. Master Chomp sends his minions on you. Can you defeat him anyway? So you finally get to defeat Master Chomp in this part of the game. But can we do it? Well, let's find out. Here we go with Chomp's End. Alright, so we have more music as with the previous stages. This stage is longer, but I don't think it's as hard as the previous stage. Oh, we're going up into the spikes. Oh, no, we're not. Dropping down. Okay. Into the pipe, like so. Yeah, there's quite a few fake trolls on this level. Got to be a bit careful. And get through the chomps. Ideally without dying. But with my playing skills, that may not happen. Right, so big chomps here. Get the timing right. And hit that checkpoint. There we go, nice. Right, let's wait and go through quickly. More chomps here. You can either go in the little gaps or you can just damage boost through. I sort of took a hit anyway, but there we go. Nice. I could have just run through that part as there's a mushroom here. This is really cool. On off switches will change in a minute. There we go. Nice. The power blocks light your route. All about timing here. Jump when the chomp is not going out. I messed that up. I'm not sure how I messed that up, actually. Right, I think we can drop down. Yes, okay. Now for this part here. Focusing on the timing. Make sure I don't mess it up. There we go, nice. I'm through. Another mushroom here. Right, so we have a giant swinging chomp stack. Well, not really a stack. Lots of chomps on tracks. Right, we're going down. I think we're going in the door. Yeah, there we go. So this part is all about the swing. Get the timing between the swings. Then climb to the top. Not like that. I got away with it. I got away with it. I didn't die. Or should I say I didn't take a hit. Right, we're there. Down we go. And here we go with the final boss of this chapter. So the idea behind this is you're meant to hit the shell mitts into the on-off switches? Actually, I'm not sure how to do this. Oh, into the power blocks. Yeah, I remember now. Right, and don't do that. So what you're supposed to do is hit the shelmet into the on-off switch like that. Then the shelmet will hit the power block. Then just repeat the process. Right, so... I need to hit the other one, I think. Just taking my time here so I sort of know what I'm doing. There we go. So just repeat the process. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. That shelmet should hit the power block like so. And now I just need to take out the master chomp. Get that start and there we go. I did it. Not the most stylish win, but I still managed to complete it. Now just don't die in this room. Those chomps can go quite low. And I'm running out of time as well. I need to get a move on. Right, the final staircase. Nope, I'm not done yet. There's more over here, I think. Yeah, just a bonus area and some power blocks. Get those one-up mushrooms. There we go, nice. And those 50 coins. I'm tempted to have a look over the flagpole, but I don't think I'll get over it. Yes, I will. There we go. 
Yeah, there's nothing over here. That was a complete waste of time. Let's finish the stage. And there we go. Master Chomp has been defeated. Toad Terrors continues on. And there we go. Chomp's end is completed. And that's the end of the chapter. All right, and that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this part of the playthrough. I'm keeping these playthrough parts relatively short. I'm only covering one to two chapters at the most per video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did like the look of this, please do check out the full game. It's in the description for this video and the pinned comment. If you did enjoy this video, leaving a like and subscribing is always appreciated. Thank you to those that have already subscribed. There are a few other videos on the screen you may enjoy as well. Feel free to check those out if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.